Hi everybody, this is Peter. Um, tonight I'm going to be showing you how to play uh, Quick Play Pro Hockey, which is a uh, free game that uh, was developed by uh, Mike Owens and uh, Ron Arnst a um, long time ago, I think it was in the early 2000s, that this game came out. And uh, this is a Quick Play game. Um, and um, the footprint is uh, very, very small. Um, uh, this chart here is just a, a chart where you f uh, we, before the game you figure out uh, what the uh, score chances for each team is going to be. And then other than that, there's just uh, this one page of charts, like a whole chart, and, and that's about it. So, so basically, um, uh, the files uh, were available at tabletopsports.com, you know, the Downey site, and that's not available anymore. So if, 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 you're, uh, if you like this game and you, you want a copy of it, uh, you can just, uh, I'll leave my email address below the video. And you can um, just uh, send me an email requesting it and I'll send it to you. And it's just a, cu a couple of uh, Word documents and, a co and I think a spreadsheet or two. Um, the spreadsheets are, uh, uh, have uh, teams rated for the NHL from 1946 47 to 2000 2001 and uh, so that's a, a great, good range of uh, good range of like 55 seasons um, and I think uh, some people have worked on uh, figuring out how to rate them uh, for seasons beyond that um, I think it uh, I, I've looked at it briefly but I can't remember offhand what it is so um, so basically uh, each team is uh, rated here for um, uh, offense and defense, uh, home and away, and the CGF is called a close game factor to see uh, how they uh, do in close games, and uh, this N is a normalization factor, so if you want to play um, games uh, of teams from different seasons, then this normalization factor would come into, uh, come into play here. Uh, the rest of the thing is just uh, goal ranges, so like when you get a goal score, you can roll 3d6 to get uh, figure out who scored the goals. Uh, for you. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to be playing 70-71 uh, uh, New York Rangers against Minnesota North Stars. And uh, I'll play the whole game because it's a, it's a quick game and, um, and uh, so, yeah. Okay, so what you do is uh, um, you add up the uh, add up the, uh, the ratings. So, let's see, New York is a visiting team, so we look at their visitor office number is 14. Minnesota's uh, home defense is 14, so that's 28. So you make a note of that. Their, their, I guess, factor for the game is 28. Do the same thing for Minnesota. Their uh, home offense is 9. And the visitor defense for the Rangers is also 9, so that's uh, 18. So you add 28 and 18, and you get 46. And so you look at the chance chart here. And 46 is 11 to 24. So you're, you're going to be rolling a 2d6, and any time uh, you get a roll from 11 to 24, that means uh, one of the teams is going to get a scoring chance. So that's the first part. And the second part is figuring out which uh, team is going to get the scoring chance. So you take the, the those two factors, the 18 and the 28, and uh, and you, you figure out what the chance is for the home team first. So. Uh, what, what you do is what, figure out what percentage uh, the home team's chances out of, out of all the chances. So uh, Minnesota's was 18. The total chance between the two teams is 46. So it's just 18 divided by 46. And I already figured this out. And it's 0 0.391 is the ratio. And so you look at this home visitor chart. And it's 0 0.391. So the range for Minnesota is 32 to 54. So I'm just going to make <clears throat> make a uh, note of that. Uh, so it's 11 to what did I say? 11 to 24? Yeah, 46. So 11 to 24 is the uh, is the uh, range for uh, get somebody to get a scoring chance. And uh, for Minnesota, the range is 32 to 54. So that just means uh, uh, New York's. Uh, Scoring chance is going to, just going to be the numbers outside of that, so 11 to 31 and 55 to 66. Okay, so 
so I'll just keep that in front of me as a reminder. Um, and then I just have a little timing chart, and um, and then we have our uh, goal chart here. So so we can just uh, start play here. So uh, the black die is going to, uh, sorry, the white die is going to give us the uh, time elapsed, and uh, I'm just going to leave this as a two-digit number. So 60, this six-two is a sixty-two. So there's no scoring chance there. Um, the dice roll of two to advance the time one minute. We have it eleven. So uh, since the white die is one, uh, the the timing does not advance. So we're still in the the uh, first minute of play. Um, and uh, so 11, so there is a scoring chance, so we just roll again to see who gets the scoring chance. And we get a 36, so that's in Minnesota's range, so Minnesota has a scoring chance. And then we're just going to roll the 2D6 uh, on the goal, cha goal uh, chart, or sorry, on this, yeah, the goal chart. And we get an 11, so it's a goal, so Minnesota scored. It's 1-0 uh, one, one for Minnesota. So if you want to see who scored the goal for Minnesota, we roll a 3D6. And we get 564, and that's Danny O'Shea. And then um, for the number of assists, um, we're on 2D, 2D6, we get a 9, so there's a number of assists in here. So there's just one assist on this goal, so we just roll once in the assist turn in Minnesota, 262. And Bill Goldsworthy is the, gets, gets the assist on that goal. So it's one nothing for Minnesota. So we'll go back to the 2D6. So 6-3. Six, three. So 3 advances the time 2 minutes. 62 is outside of 24, so there's no chance there. 5 advances at 3 minutes. 14, that's advanced 2 minutes, and there's a scoring chance. 35. And we have a chance uh, for Minnesota. Okay, so we're going to roll for Minnesota. Get a four. Look on the goal chart, so that's another goal. <clears throat> so another goal for Minnesota, it's 2 nothing. So I'm not going to bother um, rolling for the goals and assists for the rest of the game. I just want to show you how the rest of this plays. plays. So I got a 22, so advance the time one minute. And <clears throat> it's a scoring chance. 55, so we've got a chance for the Rangers. And we're rolling three, and that's a save. Uh, 32, and two, it's a uh, time one, so we're in the tenth minute. And no scoring chance. Three, six, so that's three minutes. Five, five, and that three minutes as well. One, two, so one minute, and that's a scoring chance. 61, scoring chance for New York. And eight is a goal. So, it's, uh, it's a goal for New York. I can't remember what the score is now. I haven't been keeping track. Normally I do, but uh, for the video, I think it's two to one for Minnesota. Okay, 45, and we get three minutes. We're in the, the last minute. We might, might roll a one on the white here. Yeah, we do, so. We're still in the last minute of play here, so it's a scoring chance for uh, New York because it's uh, below 32. And six is a save. Okay, so we'll roll again on the timing. So we're still in the 20th minute, so the timing doesn't advance. Three. Okay, so now since this goes beyond the, the period, uh, a roll of three advances at two minutes, and so we just go two minutes into the second period. Uh, so 23 was the roll, so it's a scoring chance. 54, and that's for Minnesota. And we roll a three, and that's a save. Okay, 46, so advance the time three minutes. 26, advance the time three minutes. And that's not a scoring chance. Okay, 51. Don't advance the time. 63. That's the time. Two minutes. No advance. Three minutes. Three minutes. No. No minutes. Five. And 
under three minutes. That's just outside the scoring chance. And another question there. Six. So again, we go past the end of the second period and then in two minutes into the third period because it's advancing at three minutes. And so it's a 16, so there is a scoring chance here. Whoops. And we roll a 16 again. And that's a chance for the Rangers. Eight is a goal. So I think we have a 2-2 tie now. So now, um, because the game is tied and we're in the third period, uh, we're going to look at the close game factors because it's going to have an effect on the, the results. So um, the Rangers, sorry, the Rangers have a close game factor of 10, and Minnesota has a factor of 8. So. Um, so if we have a scoring chance and we have um, uh, we roll a thing where there's an asterisk beside, we have to um, we have to read uh, to see what happens uh, there. Um, so um, yeah, so we'll just keep on going here. Four one, okay, no time advance. Six one, no time advance. Five one, wow. Well, three four, so that advances at two. That's like two minutes again. Advance the time. Another two minutes, so 23 is a scoring chance. 44, so it's a scoring chance for Minnesota. And we get nine. And that's, uh, that nine is a save. Okay. So three, four, that's uh, move it to hit two minutes. Halfway through the third period, six. Three minutes, 14, so that's two minutes, and it's a scoring chance. 31, so that's a scoring chance for the Rangers. And we get a seven. Seven is also a save. The E just means uh, if, uh, if there was an imp, if it was an, um, if it was in the last minute of play and uh, the goalie was pulled and they were shooting at an empty net, that would be a, a goal. That's what the E means. The P means if uh, if uh, a team pulled a goalie to get an extra attacker and, and uh, that would turn into a goal. Okay, one six, so three minutes. And four three, two minutes. So we're in the last minute of play here. 21, no, scoring chance for somebody here in the last minute. Four five, 45, that's scoring chance for Minnesota. Eight. So now, eight is a goal with an asterisk, and because the game is tied, we have to consider the close game factor. So, um, yeah, so if we get a goal result, um, Minnesota is the team that has the lower close game factor rating. So we roll again. So if the dice range, if the 2d6 here is, is less than or equal to um, the close game factor, then it turns into a save. So, uh, roll a 7. Yep. So, um, so that, that goal has turned into a save. So I guess it's because Minnesota is not as good in close games as uh, the Rangers were. So that, that turns, in, uh, turns into a save. Um, conversely, um, if you had, if we have a save result with an asterisk, um, in this case uh, it wouldn't apply because Minnesota would have the scoring chance. But um, if uh, if um, if New York had the scoring chance, they had the higher close game factor. And uh, if you get a save result, then you would roll again. And if the dice roll is at less than or equal to their close game factor, that would save or turn into a goal. So that that's sort of illustrating, uh, uh, you know, showing the difference between teams uh, with a better close game factor than others. So we're still in the last minute of play in case we get something else here. 21. Oh, here we go. Another scoring chance. 62. So another chance for the Rangers. And we're almost 7. It's a save. Okay. So we're still in the last minute of play. One, two, yeah, there we go. So the time advances. So the game's over, so we ended up in a 2 2 tie. And that's how quickly you play a game. So, um, 
if uh, just just so you know, if you pull the goalie, then um, uh, if you get a dice roll of one or two, you get a you get an automatic scoring chance. I guess um, I guess that'd be the black the black die, I suppose. I'm not sure actually. Oh, with the timing die. Sorry, with the timing die. Um, so, um, yeah, so that's that's how you play the game, and that's how quickly it, it plays. Uh, like I said, if you if you want a copy of the score sheet, um, or not the score sheet, the uh, the um, spreadsheet that has uh, the the teams rated for those uh, fifty NHL seasons, just uh, um, send me an email, and I'll send them to you, and along with the instructions on how to play the game. Um, and uh, they also they have an explanation if you want to f figure out the exact time of the goal. Um, you just roll some dice and then add or subtract time to certain things. So um, yeah, so that's um, quick play hockey. So another uh, quick play game that's uh, fun to play. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.